Brevard's, located in Wynwood, is not strictly a gallery for people to take pleasure in seeing interesting artwork. It's a unique space where artist John Brevard invites people to come to reflect and consider. His works are devoted to his own introspective journey and deep ecological awareness. I would say it's very organic. Uh, it, it depends because as this process has come about, um, everything's changed. You know, every, I have a certain series, the black and white series, which was about uh, my own transpersonal growth and really yeah, ch huge changes that I was going through at the time. And then this series of the Petrified Wood has gone through a series of its own where I've carved them into sacred geometries and, and, and sacred forms. John Brevard, who was raised in Miami, has also worked as a design consultant, interior designer, and architect. He was born into a family of prominent political figures that date back to the 1700s. His grandmother, Mary Call Collins, was considered to be Florida's first lady. His ancestor, Governor Richard Keith Call, acted as lieutenant for Andrew Jackson and George Washington. John's grandfather, Governor Leroy Collins, was the chairman of the Democratic National Convention and responsible for the inauguration of President John F. Kennedy. John affirms that his rich family history has had a deep impact on who he is as an artist. You know, I always wanted to um, do the best I could to, to be, um, I guess the best I could be at what, what I do. Because you know, my, grand, my grandfather was, you know, really put himself out there to say things that people didn't agree with. You know, Martin Luther King and Selma, and you know, people held up posters of that and ruined his career after that because it was, you know, during the '60s and people weren't open to those ideas. And you, you know, I felt that you always got to kind of put yourself out there, stand up for what you believe in. John Brevard has many admirers who resonate with his work, which has been called metaphysical and inspiring a feeling of harmony with nature. Augustin Fernandez is an interior designer of high-end homes who incorporates John's art into his designs. I like the fact that it's organic. Uh, it goes with a lot of my environments that I'm hired to create for clients. Um, a lot of people buy art uh, to match their room. I find it the exact opposite. I buy John's Ark and then build a room around it. It is lyrical. It is historical. It is futuristic. The uniqueness comes from uh, first his designs, which are again one-of-a-kind uh, designs that um, are very um, or flow very easily in different areas with their uh, place that whether they're a coffee table or a dining table uh, or the wall art. John's works are intended to be touched and experienced. I created it hoping that, that it, it would do that because I wanted people to sit down at you know one of the pieces that are functional like this dinner table right here and touch the material and, and just really be present with it. And say, wow, 100 million years old. And, not just walk by it and say, well, that's a beautiful table, but to actually engage with it and experience it and make them go beyond this lifetime. Some of the pieces are, are art furniture, so they let, they're clearly open to be touched. Uh, some of the pieces that are, that are the paintings and the drawings, maybe not so much. But uh, there's, a, there's a tangible and a physical quality to the work. John's lifelong search for self-understanding has taken him around the world to many places, Thailand, Malaysia, China, and South America. He has studied with shamans and engaged in retreats about consciousness and meditation. At 14, he had a life-altering experience, which brought him close to death. When I was 14, I, I had a combined form of encephalitis and meningitis, which is a swelling of the brain and the spinal cord. Um, so I was in a coma for a couple weeks, and. Uh, had a near-death experience, and that, that really triggered um, those questions in the background of, of, of my consciousness, of my mind, uh, of, you know, why am I here, what's the point of this all, what happens when we leave, you know, this life is so short, you know, it feels like yesterday that I was 10 years old or 15, and, 
you know, it, it just, everything goes by so quickly, we want to understand more and ourselves. A visit to Brevard's invites people to think about their own lives and the meaning behind it. For just a few minutes, one can enter this refuge-like space and experience serenity.